up, guys? Jumpman Collector 23, coming at you guys with the, another video right here. Today I'll be showing you guys my top sneaker pickups of 2013. I have nine of them that I picked out that I want to show you guys. So just just want to get show you guys. But uh, before I start, I just want to give you guys a big thank you to everyone who subscribed, everyone who likes all my videos, comments. I really do appreciate it, and it means a lot to me. And I also want to say thank you guys so much. I just passed 300 subscribers. So that's a big milestone for me. And I just want to say thank you guys. So without further ado, let's start. So right now, I, no, this is not in any order. And these are not all shoes that were released in 2013. I just picked these up in 2013. So we have the Laney 5s right here. I picked these up on release date actually for retail. And uh, they were pretty slept on. Let me get some close-ups. They're pretty slept on, but I got for re I got them for retail, and uh, I couldn't be any happier with the quality. The leather is awesome on these, and they're just really nice. So, Laney fives, and yeah, I picked up a lot of fives because it was the year of the five. So, so now we have the Jordan Five grapes. And when I first started collecting sneakers, I remember this was one of the sneakers I was looking at to buy fake almost. I used to type in. Uh, cheap air Jordans and these used to be one of the ones that I really wanted so I guess you got some close-ups but these released back in May pretty nice pretty nice purple tongue everything's really nice icy so one of the nice one of my favorite fives I own about like four pairs of fives so real nice right here next we have the Jordan 5 black grapes also just want to say excuse all the background noise I apologize but I figured this would be the best lighting outside, so we have the Jordan 5 Black Grapes. These were released shortly after the White Grapes, and the quality is really nice on these. It has a double dye new buck, and uh, the new buck is like that change the color, like it's really nice quality. I see, so it's the same, it's the same as the white, it's just reverse basically. And not too much, they're just really clean and definitely one of my favorite releases for sure. So next we have a shoe that didn't release this year, but I still picked them up, were the 2009 Space Jam. Oop. And these released, like I said, in 2009, they were pretty crazy. I didn't get the Gammas that released this year, but I might get later down the road, but these are really nice. I've had my eyes on some Space Jams for a really long time, so I'm really happy I was able to scoop these up. Really, really nice. Got your royal blue jump man. Everything is nice. Still pretty icy on the sides. A little bit yellow, but I might do a separate review on these. Let me know if you guys want to see that. And yeah, space jams. So next we have another sneaker that released last year. Not not another sneaker, but these released last year. And these were the LeBron 9 Elite Miami Vice or South Beach, whatever you want to call it. And these were so hot. Like I really. I wear these a lot, as you can see, like the bottoms are pretty yellowed, and there's like a scuff mark right there. But I really wear these a lot, but I love them. Like, I wear these a lot when I say that. So, these are really clean. And yeah, the South Beach Nines, I love them. So, next we have the LeBron 8 South Beach, the official one. Excuse the dog, sorry. And uh, you guys probably saw my review on these, and you probably saw these in my top sneakers on feet video if you haven't seen that please check it out so these were released back in 2010 and I wear my sneakers so these are a little bit worn uh, a little bit yellowed out as well but you know I mean I love them like the pink accents just really set the shoe off in my opinion and yeah South Beach 8s these are really like going up there in prices now like I it's crazy it's really crazy how high these went up but yeah so I did pick these up. These are the Jordan 1 breads that released 28th on the 28th. And uh, let me get some close-ups for you guys. It's crazy how fast these sold out. I tried online. I tried RSVP. I tried raffle. I wasn't successful on any of them. Ended up having to get it from someone else. I did a local meetup. It's crazy. Like I heard, I heard someone said finish line had like 72 pairs, and I don't know how that even happened. But I, I don't even know like <laughs> how crazy these sold out. It's, it's it's insane. But 
This was definitely Royal Ones Part 2, for sure. But I really do like them. The quality's pretty nice on these, actually. And, uh, yeah, you got your Jordan 1 bread. So, on to the next one. I picked these up this year, but they released last year in the Galaxy Pack. The KD4 Galaxies. And a lot of these sneakers you saw in my video, like I said. So, check that video out if you haven't already. These are really clean. Like, I love these. And I, I'm probably going to do a separate review as well. And these are pretty slept on. You know, for like the the Galaxy Foams and the Big Bangs that released. Uh, these were not like the most anticipated one out of them. But they were still up there. But now these are ridiculous in price. And they're really selling for a lot. So, but yeah. I mean, I'm keeping them. I'm not, I'm not reselling any of these, so. Got your Galaxy KD4s right here. Looking really nice. And lastly, number nine, we have one of my favorite releases, the Jordan 3 Dornbecker. Several review, you guys can expect that. I will do that. These released, and they retroed, and these are pretty hard to get. I didn't get these on release date. I ended up having to get them after the release date as well. Still really icy. Everything is still nice on these. Uh, yeah, these released back earlier this year, and I couldn't even cop them, so got them now. I'm not going to go too crazy into it. You guys will see the separate review when I do them, but you got your Jordan 3 Dornbeckers. So that's it, guys. My question for this video is, out of all the pickups you guys got in 2013, what was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And please, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. It really means a lot. Please subscribe. I really do appreciate all the feedback I get, and I reply to all the comments I can. And, uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at B-I-G-G-D-A-D-D-Y-R-I-C-E. And, yeah, once again, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. Peace.